pinakamalaki at higanting barko ng PCG hinaras ng China. Tatlong beses intentionally pinagbabangga ng China Coast Guard ang BRP Teresa Ban. Wala itong ginagawang mali, pero binangga pa rin. Magkita sa drone view na pinalibutan tayo ng sandamakmak na barko ng China. Noong isang araw lang pinagbantaan pa tayo ng China Defense Ministry. Pag hindi daw tayo lumaya sa Sabina, sapilitan daw tayong papalayasin gamit ang kwersa ng PLA Navy. Walang nasaktan ayon kay Commodore Ariela, pero nabutas ang BRP Teresa Mudban. Makikita kung gano'ng ang kapal ang made in Japan na barko, pero nabutas pa rin. Sa kabila ng pagbangga ng China, nandoon pa rin ang BRP Teresa Mudbanwa. Walang aatras hanggang kamatayan. Oh, this is the commitment of the commandant to the president that uh, despite of the harassment, the bullying activities, and um, escalatory action of the Chinese Coast Guard, the Philippine Coast Guard vessel Teresa Magbanwa or any other replacement of the vessels, there will be no reason for us to uh, withdraw our Coast Guard vessels there. Matapos bangga-banggain ng China ang PCG, nag-file pa ang Chinese Embassy ng protesta sa Pilipinas. Yes, tama kayo nang narinig. Etong Chinese ambassador pa ang nag-file ng protesta sa DFA. Sinasabing palayasin na natin ang ating barko sa kanilang teritoryo. Ikaw ang dapat lumayas dito sa Pilipinas, Chinese ambassador. It's important for us to understand that Skoda Shoal has been an issue for the Chinese government. Uh, since we deployed the uh, BRP Teresa Magbanwa last April 15, this has always been um, a reason for China to um, always uh, uh, make it an issue. They even filed a diplomatic protest for BRP Teresa Magbanwa to be um, uh, to withdraw from Skoda Shoal. They also use uh, different uh, platforms to highlight that uh, they are seeing this as a semi-grounded or um, a possible place for creating a forward deployment base. So as far as the Chinese Coast Guard is concerned, these are their different appreciation of our deployment for Teresa Magbanwa. But as I said, for the Philippine Coast Guard, the reason and objective of the deployment of Teresa Magbanwa is only purely for us to carry out a legal, legitimate Coast Guard operation within our own exclusive economic zone. Sinagot rin ng National Maritime Council ang pahayag ng Chinese Embassy. Papaanong Chinese territory ang Sabina? S-25 nautical miles lang to mula sa Palawan. Tapos di bulibong nautical miles naman mula sa China. Papaanong Chinese yan? Dagang ko lang, ano? uh, let us uh, be clear about it. The Skoda Shoal is 75 nautical miles from mainland Palawan. Sabi nga ni Comortariela, it's within, well within our 200 exclusive economic zone. Dalawa ang pinag-aangklahan natin, the UNCLOS and the 2016 arbitral ruling. So we exercise sovereignty, sovereign rights, and jurisdiction over the area. So the Chinese Coast Guard vessels are the ones uh, illegally, uh, presence nila there are illegal. We are there on a leg uh, legal basis. Dahil atin yun, hindi tayo pwedeng magpaalam sa bahay, sariling bahay natin. Let us be very clear about it. Medyo mapipikon ka na lang kasi talaga sa bagal ng desisyon ng PCG, di ba? May inis ka na lang sa paulit-ulit na preskon pero mabagal ang aksyon. Kayo, anong masasabi nyo dito? I-commento sa baba ang yung salo.